Hi, this is John Rowland with Highland Park Lapidary, and uh, I'm going to talk just a little bit about how we uh, mark and cast uh, the pieces before we throw them in the drill. So when I'm going to drill a rough rock, uh, I don't have to saw it at all. All I do is I select my rough, I inspect it for size and fractures and pattern, and then I can look at the thickness of the rock, any, any bugs or anything I want in the sphere or I don't want in the sphere, and then I pick the size of the bit looking at the height of the stone and looking at the width of the stone. So then when I set the, the bit on there, I'll take a Sharpie and I'll mark the position of the bit because once I cast it, it makes it hard to see where the features are. So when, before I cast, I, I mark with those and that tells me exactly where I want to drill. Now this one here isn't cast quite right because it's a little bit on the angle this way. If you see, it's leaning this way. It would have been better cast sitting like that so it's flat across the top because when your bit comes in, it's much easier to get to your high speed, you know, like where you can crank the feet up if it's flat. If you're leaning like this, the bit's going to contact here first and then the, the, the bit will slowly move out. And if you crank the speed up when you're right about here, you run a really good chance of the thing either grabbing and spinning or trying to uh, flip over if it's a smaller piece. This piece is wide and flat, so it will be okay. But my preference is when I cast them, get that top really flat like that so when the bit comes in, I'm a minute and then I'm down to full speed and cranking the bit through the rock.